Hi, welcome to this uh, special webinar on uh, Locobus for agencies. We'll talk about what are the com what are the capabilities an agency would need to operate on the social space. Uh, what are the kind of opportunities are there in the market, and uh, how is a how is Locobus uh, your partner in the journey for uh, getting new customers and uh, serving them uh, for this for the services that you offer in uh, in the space of social and ORM uh, in general. So I want to take a moment to introduce uh, uh, my colleagues in the call. We have Delon. Delon leads customer success for uh, Locobus. He comes with, uh, he is an agency man himself. He was in agencies before. Uh, now he's helping a lot of agencies to uh, do ORM uh, rightly and uh, use the uh, right amount of technology to make their life easier. I have Shanmuga who leads South Sales. Uh, he has a penchant for uh, uh, working with agencies. He has a lot of agencies that he uh, works with. Uh, he co-pitches with them, uh, sees through a lot of deals as a partner uh, in our journey with agencies and agencies journey with a technology platform like ours. So gentlemen, welcome. Hi Vijay. Hi Vijay. Hi. So first, I want to uh, talk about uh, the four key things that uh, a technology can offer uh, uh, and offer to the uh, agencies, right? So one is listening uh, capabilities in uh, response management or reputation management. There's publishing, and then there's reporting. Wanted to uh, go with you in, de in depth with uh, uh, all of these to understand from you both what are the technologies available uh, uh, in the market today and how can uh, agencies leverage all of that and what are the market opportunities that they can tap into when they do, right? If we can start with listening, I want to start with Delon. What, as an agency person, what are the listening features that are important to you? Uh, to start off with listening uh, as a whole piece is really important for uh, agencies because uh, brands usually sublease or contact agencies to, uh, to be the eyes and ears of the brand on social media. Uh, while you need to be the eyes and ears, you need to cover your base in terms of looking at all conversations, not just uh, you know, negative ones or not just positive ones, but all conversations for the brand. And that you can achieve by uh, putting up a you know broad list of keywords for public listening, your social channels. Uh, that is that is step one of, uh, you know, setting up your listening. But from feature perspective, uh, I believe you can use uh, Command Center uh, to track all of your conversations in real time. Uh, you can have alerts set up right from crisis alerts to negative alerts and also influencer alerts. Uh, be on top of your game, uh, inform the client of all the things that are happening on the brand. Uh, all of your data gets segmented into positive, negative, neutral using NLP anyways, uh, but you can then further enhance it by adding L1, L2, L3 categories. Uh, that gives you more perspective as to what the data actually means. Uh, once it's shipped to the customer or to the client, they can then pull out the relevant departments, give them the actual on-ground feedback uh, if it's a product-based company uh, or rather if it's uh, any company, if it's you know all negative conversations, the brand can take action on them. So having a precise category map also helps. And then all of this then converts into your uh, dashboards, your reports, uh, and, and also some things that you can flexibly create from the data that you have. All right. So whenever we talk about uh, social listening exercise in uh, any agency, what kind of opportunities do you usually see? Do you see that uh, uh, an agency uh, is contracted for do a listening exercise for an event that has happened, which is just one shot and then give, uh, uh, give a report based on that? Or they usually get a retainer where they listen to brand and its associated activities on a continued fashion so that they can give periodic reports. Uh, most popularly that I know of is monthly. Uh, what are the kind of market opportunities that you're seeing in the listening space? Uh, I think uh, most agencies are on a retainer model. 
uh, wherein obviously they are doing a uh, you know annual retainer or two year retainer where it's an ongoing project so it's not just for a campaign or for a specific uh, listening uh, they have to do it month on month the most popular report is obviously a monthly report uh, but then we've also seen uh, the biweekly reports grow uh, you know all the ones which are scheduled from the application because uh, everybody now wants to be high touch uh, not just uh, you know with their customers but everywhere around so biweekly reports have grown uh, and uh, there are some special projects that come up uh, for example movie launches or show launches where you need to actually track uh, the pre and the post of the launch and also be able to then give analysis of during the launch what was the kind of uh, you know conversations that came up who are the people what kind of ripple did they create on social media so there are both the types but yeah the retainer one uh, is or or rather year long contracts is the one which even clients prefer because then uh, the agency like i said becomes the eyes and ears and you know they have to just wait for the report to come to them great you you spoke about interesting one off uh, uh, exercises ad hoc reports that were to be uh, done how can a listening software help in uh, in such moments i'll touch base on the movie launch projects uh, that we've seen uh, pre launch of the movie uh, let's take recent examples uh, you know movie tracking usually starts two or three months from the day the trailer has been launched and then obviously the brand or the the movie uh tries to build a lot of noise around that movie and get more uh, audience to know about it so obviously it's going to increase they all know about it uh, but then tracking of it right from the trailer day gives them a little bit of perspective of how exactly people are anticipating the movie uh, and also there's a lot of now public reactions that uh, you know happen on youtube and instagram but after seeing a trailer people start putting in their reactions right so the brand actually wants to monitor those reactions uh, be able to understand if those reactions are positive negative uh, usually you know nowadays it's all negative but but yeah some movies also get positive reactions uh, and that that helps the brand identify uh, whether or not on launch day are they going to do 100 crore or not right uh, but after launch also they need to track uh you know every every week uh, sales for the movie and also if the people after watching the movie have put in good reviews uh we've also seen uh, most cases where somebody watches the trailer and says uh, maybe this will not do really well but that person after watching the movie says oh it was amazing right so the positive the sentiment meter of that person from before launch to after launch has changed and imagine tracking this in a collective manner you'll be able to identify how the sentiment has changed after the launch of the movie or after actually people have watched the movie as well so oh, that's absolutely uh, mind boggling to even think about look at the india scale look at the youtube comments every trailer would get to be able to capture one percent sentiment shift across crores of people is pretty powerful for uh, a brand uh, to have uh then you know, you touched upon an important aspects of uh, one of projects that uh, agencies would get right how can a social listening software help you uh sometimes agencies uh, do get this overnight as well uh sometimes it's planned and you know agencies know well in advance that there's a launch happening and they need to track it and most times it's uh, super urgent basis where they need to start tracking and also be able to go back in time and fetch conversations uh social listening applications like locobus can help you track historic conversations uh and once the historic conversations are in you also can analyze them for sentiment for category uh and many other aspects in terms of understanding how the movie or the trailer was being accepted on social media this is a very important aspect because once you already are very close to the launch date of a movie of a product uh, you would want to know what the sentiment has been in the last 3 to 6 months to be able to judge and identify as a brand whether or not this is going to work out uh, we have obviously track historic conversations give you all the analysis and then from the day on uh, you can also have your live conversation listening so in a way you are covered uh, even if you are coming to us at the very end minute or the last minute or if you already have this planned we can help uh, in both ways fantastic uh let's talk about orm right orm the the big debate in orm itself is what is the what is the actual 
full form of ORM, uh, whatever be it reputation management or response management, it means the same thing for the brand. It is about brand health management by searching for information that may be harmful to you and new and uh, catering to that if it is a genuine customer trying to help them out if it is uh, if it is uh, something which is uh, impersonating you take that down right so there's a lot there's a lot of things that uh, come about in an orm uh, space how does locobuzz help uh, in the, for, to an agency who is actually managing multi brands uh, to do their orm uh, so First of all, there are a lot of agencies who manage multi brands, uh, and for them, uh, you know, obviously, uh, if they're using Locobus for all of their brands, it becomes very, very simple to manage. Uh, reason being, we are doing some, uh, you know, AI-based technology. Uh, I mean, market-first AI-based technology is what we've introduced, and for those kind of things, uh, you know, obviously, the agency helps us. Uh, set things up in terms of how they can use ai to its max potential uh, but if you're managing more than one brand we have actionability detection we have uh, ai based responses uh, as well right actionability det- detection actually reduces the count of actionables uh, that obviously gives you more time to uh, manage more than one brand at a time plus it reduces your overall uh, handling time for tickets which in turn results in great flr and great overall turnaround time as well end to end closure uh, secondly based on the ai suggested responses uh, we've seen fabulous turnaround for that uh, so far uh, it obviously not just helps you with uh, you know responding with uh, you know newer responses every time when i say newer responses you don't have the same uh, tonality for all kinds of responses ai just gives you more pattern and more structure to your responses plus it also helps you uh, you know reduce the manpower and reduce the ahd as well right which is what every brand or every agency would want to do uh, because then they can focus more on social listening they can focus more on reports enhance the reports be able to give uh, insightful information to their customers about what's happening around their brand uh, and also be able to recommend more things to to do on a day to day basis Uh, it just frees up a little bit of bandwidth for the agency to be able to give more key insightful results to their customers fantastic when it comes to orm reports right uh, what kind of uh, metrics does uh, an agency would like to, what are the recommended metrics for an agency to report on a week to week basis to the brand that they work for brands usually would want uh, their responses to be sent out on a timely manner or in a timely manner and uh, first level response overall turnaround time which gives you end to end closure uh, these are few important metrics that uh, you know agencies obviously report to brands we've seen that uh, being reported but also other metrics in terms of how each agent performance has been uh, if there are dependencies on the brand teams then how long has it taken for agencies uh, to obviously respond and how long has it taken for brand team to go ahead and resolve the customer's query end to end those are few of the metrics that are reported on a day to day basis but that's from a response management perspective from a listening perspective it becomes even more broader uh, in the sense you have your categories l1 l2 l3 uh, right down to l3 uh, we've seen reports going out in terms of application not working problems in the application loading time which actually in turn helps the brands to uh, send this feedback across internally to the right vertical uh, make sure that the customer voice uh, is internally shared and the problems that the customers are facing are actually fixed as well right so from a listening perspective uh, there's a lot more that can be shared uh, you know we've also seen a uh, recent rise in in uh, you know you know sharing how uh, from a location perspective uh, you know there are complaints coming in or there are requests coming in uh, which actually helps you not just manage your uh, you know orm from a service point of view but also can generate leads can generate some kind of revenue for the brand uh, if you're getting leads from let's say a particular region a tier one city uh, maybe the brand can boost some marketing activities there to get more leads or if they're finding a similar pattern be able to do it for other geographies in india or abroad so there are there we've, we've seen uh, the shift over time uh, because me as an orm agent all i used to share was we've done 10 tickets in a day 
nobody bothered if it was first level response five minutes or ten minutes. Now we've seen brands go up to first level response two minutes as well, which is very interesting and in how times have changed. Uh, there is one brand we work with whose first level response time is just forty five seconds. So, which is which is very very difficult to achieve, but they have been doing it uh, consistently month on month as well. Fantastic. You touched upon another important subject in an outsourced ORM environment. There are more than two teams that are involved. There's the agency team, and then there's a brand team. And uh, what are what are the best practices for stakeholder alignment so that Customer requests captured in ORM, identified as a problem, sent to uh, the brand team for resolution or some sort of a service recovery, so to speak. Uh, what are, what do we need to have that kind of a stakeholder alignment uh, to make this as smooth as possible? Workflow automation is is what agencies need. Uh, you need to start off with obviously monitoring how your first level response team is working, which. in all likelihood is the agency uh, obviously within agency itself there can be escalation parameters set up where if an agent does not go ahead and respond to something for 5 to 10 minutes an internal escalation within the agency is is shot up to the stakeholders and then they take care of it within themselves and make sure the response is sent out similarly for the brand teams like i said workflow automation uh, they can all work simultaneously harmoniously on the locobus application your agency team can you know take care of your first level response stuff wherever there is uh, you know brand team dependency it can be escalated to them within the application uh, while you can maintain your turnaround times you can calculate them for agencies uh, you can also calculate them for brand teams and if within a brand team there's something that that goes unanswered for a longer duration of time an internal escalation can be shot at the brand team as well you can have more than one team work on the dashboard simultaneously and that brings uh, a lot of uh, you know brands uh, to local buzz in terms of uh, they have a un- unique way of working out uh, working on their tickets right and that unique a uh, pattern can be set up on the locobus application because we have granular permissions as well you can set up a team leader you can set up a uh, you know agent you can set up a supervisor view only that gives that gives you multiple uh, role options and then you can uh, you know set up your flow in such a manner where there are no leakages basically okay now let me come to shanuga shanuga what are the market opportunities that you're seeing when you pitch with agencies so vijay from the market opportunities perspective to start with uh, right from a single agent requirement it can be from a uh, single shift from uh, 9 to 6 kind of a shift managing a single brand orm it can be per day it can be as low as 50 tickets etc it we start with that scale and then we go ahead with even uh, some of the uh, agencies who are using locobus they have close to 30 40 agents managing uh, large service with uh, top banks uh, top players in the market then apart from that uh, let me explain uh, some of the very interesting things uh, so now a lot of agencies have been showing interest from the uh, reports perspective so locobus as an analyst uh, report uh, uh, functionality so we develop the report as per the uh, brand requirement since agencies don't have this kind of bandwidth a separate analyst team to work on the reports so they partner with locobus and then we help them to develop the reports and then they can uh, upsell and cross sell this kind of reports to the brands so we work with lot of agencies for this uh, uh, reporting options and then we uh, as i told we start with uh, even single agents requirement and then now we are involved in a large scale pitches so uh, for example we work with uh, on prem deployment with some of the uh, largest financial uh, segments in india along with an agency so it's an imagine an rfp is coming out which requires an uh, technology support so locobus will provide and then the service support and then other allied services which agencies can do right from seo cre- creatives all those things which agency can manage but from the uh, tool perspective like uh, to manage their orm social listening uh, reporting all those things locobus plays a very important role okay all right let's get into uh, 
a popular service an agency would offer uh publishing right in publishing uh we don't want to talk about how easy it is to publish via software you all know it but we want to touch upon a very important uh capability in agencies would love uh in the publishing uh do you want to talk about that uh yeah it's uh if you remember the age old uh, method of posting uh Uh, content on social media platforms was uh, your brand manager would wake up at 7 and uh, you know post diwali content uh, those days are gone uh, you know you can use the locobus publishing feature and uh, do that one day prior uh, but most importantly is uh, uh, the scale at what you can you know do the publishing also uh, just imagine a brand having more than you know 2000 gmb locations and uh, you need to publish to each of these locations individually Uh, while using locobus is scheduler you can just uh, you know have it scheduled for all 200 or 2000 locations in a single go have it personalized as well for each of the locations and also be able to schedule this one one day prior uh, not just that you can also have a approval mechanism there uh, if i am i am the person who is who's scheduling it and let's say you are the one who needs to approve the content before it goes out you can have that approval mechanism within the application itself that's a cool feature to have because uh, not everybody would prefer uh, you know setting up a content calendar on an excel sending it over email getting your feedback incorporating and then posting uh, you know this entire uh, you know journey may have some uh, leakage and you may you know you know do a mispronunciation a grammatical error which will which will cause havoc on social media people nowadays latch on to uh, errors uh you know within a second and then that becomes an outbreak for the brand so this is the most safest way to go about it your content is within locobus you have somebody approving it and also by the way uh, we have gpt assistant there as well who can help you personalize and also write the content basis uh, your image or video or gif that you have posted oh that's that's really something cool imagine yeah. It, the human effort of doing it for 2000 locations would be five people into at least two days at least two yeah. days yeah <laughs> by the time the content would have gone out it would have already been uh, past diwali and uh, you know or any other festival <laughs> or, or you would need to plan ahead for that so this just gives you ease of mind and it's all there you can also see status by the way so if you log in the next day while it is being posted you can see how many are successful how many are in progress if at all something does not meet the guidelines of the social media platform they may fail as well right the failure message is very clear as to why uh, you know probably facebook did not allow that to go through oh let's very nice let's just up on the last one reporting that right? social i feel has a lot of uh, wealth of answers in it you have your customers and audience speak about what they like uh, without any constraints of a prompt or any uh, proper uh, setting of uh, feedback recovery right so uh, it has wealth of information in terms of what are the customers saying to what kind of content is working how are you growing who are the who are the people who are recently getting associated with the brand by showing their engagement right so there's so much information to mine uh, and uh, what what are the top reports an agency should be sending how can an agency uh, you know <clears throat> innovate in the a uh, reporting side of things so that they get a undenied access to the seat at the table with the cmo to discuss the next actions a brand should take on social what are the reports that can uh, for new age handy? new age and upcoming brands i think uh, the focus is more on increasing the footprint on social media uh, gradually then you know getting more uh, leads or getting more uh, customer traction from social media platforms so for new age uh, brands usually Uh, it's more of the footprint analysis the page growth analysis and also uh, what's the kind of chatter that is coming in uh, though the chatter may not be that huge but uh, whatever comes in is qualitative the brand can uh, you know build and grow from the initial feedback 
uh, for uh, brands which are well established of course they want to see a holistic view of where they are as a brand uh, how they are progressing and who are the people helping them progress as well right right from influencers to uh, you know everybody from the youtube community who post videos promote the brand in a organic manner uh, and also be able to provide information on how certain services can be availed or certain services can be used right uh, uh, the other most important aspect for agencies obviously is to report uh, their orm data uh, we have a multitude of uh, excel report options available uh, you need not do your mis after downloading the report you do it pre downloading which means you know exactly what you are downloading you can filter to each column and be able to also define what each of these columns data should mean so when the output is ready uh, you don't need to rework on it and share it with the client uh, it's already in a uh, shareable format Uh, that obviously again saves time and then there's a lot of automated reports that can keep going hourly uh, even so for some brands every 15 minutes uh, where the traction is really really high uh, these reports usually give you a summary of the last 15 minutes last 1 hour 6 hours for you as a brand to understand if something uh, is is shifting on social media towards the positive or the negative spectrum so these are some of the most commonly used reports but then there are also uh you know analyst reports that the agencies can prepare which will have a lot more human intelligence uh which usually are the monthly reports uh, you know once the month has gone by they can deep dive understand what worked what did not work for the brand and then give qualitative analysis of what next or what should the next month look like for the brand as well let's uh then let's uh speak about reporting for agencies how can they leverage reporting there's so ma- so much data out there there's so many decisions that could be now based on data uh, what are the what are the reports that are popular uh, that can actually take a agency uh, from a weekly report to on the cmo stable to be a strategic advisor for uh, new age customers i believe uh, the priority for the brand is to obviously increase the footprint uh, get more uh, conversations chatter going on on social media uh, so we have customized reports for uh, being able to identify how each of your social media platforms are performing uh, for bigger brands uh, it's obviously a holistic view of how uh, the overall brand health has been for the month that has gone by or the week that has gone by uh, with a few outliers in terms of who are the influencers uh was there any brand activity that got a lot of engagement what kind of content worked for the brand and what did not work right uh the frequency of the reports uh, like i mentioned in the start uh, you know has gone uh, from you know monthly to a biweekly biweekly has become a lot more popular because then that gives you more time to actually go ahead and make any course corrective measures that you need to take for the brand but there are more things that agencies can do with reports uh, we've also seen some brands request for reports every 2 hours every 1 hour uh, which helps them identify and gauge what's the overall conversation trend for the last 1 hour uh, especially during campaigns during launches because that then helps the brand uh, you know create the next piece of content that needs to go out on social media uh secondly uh you know from a uh, reporting perspective orm also uh, holds a lion share uh, in orm you're obviously reporting all the metrics we spoke about earlier uh, but with locobuzz it just becomes that much simpler because uh, you have customized excel reports and you have a wide array of reports you can choose from uh, these reports are you know just like plug and play you download the excel uh, in the format that you want the columns that you require and it can be directly shared with the customer so you are not spending m- most of your time as an agency formulating the data in an excel creating a pivot you already have those options available on locobuzz so you do all of your filtering pre download and once it's downloaded you just share it across with your client uh, another very important aspect about reporting is is from a competition perspective uh, where you are you know doing an apple to apple comparison between uh, your own brand versus your competitor brand Uh, here you're able to identify some key parameters or key metrics in terms of uh, refractors defractors for your own brand versus your competitor uh, where do they stand in terms of social reputation score nss uh, versus where do you stand as a brand uh, most importantly uh, you know again footprint plays a huge role uh, how exactly each brand's 
Facebook page, Instagram page, Twitter page is growing versus how the competitor page is growing over a course of time. So competition benchmarking also plays a huge role and agencies can get a lot of insights from competition analysis. Uh, reason being you are able to kind of gauge the data, be able to see what's working out for the competition and what's not working out and accordingly share your recommendations with the client. So let's talk about uh, Locobus agency program. Uh, what is it? How do we help our agency partners to win, expand and operate the businesses? Cool. So Vijay from agency uh, partnership program. So we currently work with some of the large agencies to small agencies in India. Our pricing uh, starts uh, as low as 25k per month and then it goes on. So now to name few uh, agencies which we uh, currently work, I could name uh, Densu, Waymaker, Ad Factors, WRM, Rep India. Uh, so we have a very good uh, agency partnership program. So what we do for uh, an agency here is, first thing is uh, there will be a price advantage uh, once they become a part of uh, Locobus partnership program. So, and then the second would be, so whenever the agency has an opportunity with a brand, so we will go on a pitch along with an agency. And then we, uh, I mean, from the tool perspective, we'll pitch. And then from the service perspective, an agency uh, will pitch. Then it will be a win-win for both of us. So all this is possible. Uh, and then we are open uh, to I mean, a lot of agencies coming on board with us. We are open for that. And it can be India as well as it can be any international countries. So looking forward to a lot of agencies to onboard with Locobus. All right. Uh, last question. Uh, How is the experience different with Locobus compared to any, uh, any tool that is there for the entry level, most likely for publishing? What is the difference when you have a local bus for your social media mandate operations versus having entry level software? Tell me more take that. For for me, I think uh, the most important thing uh, would be support. Uh, support plays a huge role, uh, and uh, local bus offers support uh, not just to enterprise customers, but even to uh, you know from right from a, a new age company to a startup. Everybody gets the similar kind of support. Uh, from Locobus, that would be one very interesting aspect. Uh, second would be uh, the the the, the, the uh, ease of use of the application. Uh, in the recent past, we've done uh, we've done a lot of videos on how you can use Locobus application. Plus, we also have uh, tutorials built on the application. So right from the day you've uh, you know probably got your login, you can just go ahead and explore. Uh, and even use it if you have past experience in using tools. Uh, it's not going to be that difficult. Uh, and the, the last but the most important is obviously uh, there's there's always support in terms of training. Uh, you have a, a customer success person aligned for your brand, uh, for your agency, right? And agencies can reach out to the customer success person to get guidance on how the application can be used to its best possible or max potential, right? And with the use cases, you know, like Shanmuga said, we are working with a lot of agencies. So we have different kind of use cases now. And if there's an agency that wants to start afresh uh, or is already doing uh, ORM for some brands or doing uh, social listing for some brands, uh, we can provide our expertise. Uh, we can also guide them on what are the best practices, do's and don'ts for social media. And that actually goes a long way because there can be some agencies who are starting fresh and for them, everything will sound very uh, new. So we will be you know, letting or getting them familiarized with how uh, applications like Locobus work. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Shanmuga Delon, for sharing this uh, side of agencies. How do they operate with social and what are the opportunities for them? Thank you so much. Can't wait to uh, hear from our audience on what they thought about this. So, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thanks, thank you. Thanks for having us, Vijay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.